right, this is Exodus 12 and 23. For the Lord will pass through to smite the Egyptians, and when he sees the blood upon the intel and on the two side posts, the Lord will pass over the door, and will not suffer the destroyer to come in into your houses to smite you. Baragathai Hal, Baragathai Hal Shah, call her Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Now, is you going to get you some blood and, you know, put it on your door? You know, so people can walk by and look at look at your house all crazy. No, what you're gonna do is you're gonna you're gonna listen to the uh, the apostles and the elders. You know, even though I'm not affiliated with them, you know, I, I believe that 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 they are the elders of Yasharala. You know, from apostle up to all down. You know, so um, you you gonna listen to these jakes? Stay prayed up. And continue to get into these scriptures, you know, and, and hopefully the Most High here helps fast. All right, now we get into the story. And how is Singapore preparing for it? Is it the next big threat to public health? From SARS to H1N1 and now COVID-19, Prime Minister Lee Sen Lung said Singapore can apply lessons it's learned in managing the coronavirus to prepare for disease acts. Scientists talk about disease X being overdue. Disease X, a new disease unknown that is highly infectious, deadly, and mutates easily. So when COVID-19 appeared, people asked whether this was disease X. COVID-19 has been a disaster for the world, but it is not disease X. It is by far not the worst new disease that can befall mankind. But it is only a matter of time before disease X happens. So we had better learn from COVID-19 how to deal with a pandemic and be as ready as we can should the worst one, when the worst one befalls us. Yes, Rala, here it is. I mean, I did a report on disease X, but this right here is a more in-depth uh, report on it. Hunting for disease X. Boom, there it is. Someone got sick with something else different, and they don't know what it is. The doctor who discovered Ebola warns of daily virus yet to come. All right, showing early, early symptoms of hemorrhagic fever. The patient sits quietly on her bed. Wrangling two toddlers desperate to flee the cell like hospital room in Agende, a remote town in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Now, I did a report on this earlier, but this is more in depth, and now this is emerging. They are waiting for the results of a test for Ebola. The patient can only communicate with her relatives through a clear plastic observation window. Her identity is secret to protect her from being ostracized by locals fearful of Ebola infection. Her children also have been tested, but for now show no symptoms. Doctors who discovered Ebola warns of daily viruses yet to come. There is a vaccine and a treatment for Ebola, which have brought down the rate at which it kills. But the question at the back of everyone's mind is, what if this woman doesn't have Ebola? What if instead she is patient zero of disease X? The first known infection of a new pathogen that could sweep the world as fast as COVID-19, but one that has Ebola's 50 to 90 percent fatality rate. Wow! You know, all praise to the Most High. Like I said, I did a report already. He, he's 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 bringing everything down. You know, and I got scarred for saying that. You know, but you you're not scarred for me. You scarred for the Most High's word. You know, because I'm, you know, I'm just earth in the ashes. All right, disease X is hypothetical for now. An outbreak that scientists and public health experts fear could lead to serious disease around the world if and when it occurs according to the WHO. X stands for unexpected. All right, there isn't the stuff of, this isn't the stuff of science fiction. It's a scientific fear based on scientific facts. We've all got to be frightened. The patient's physician, Dr. Dayton Bacali, said Ebola was unknown. COVID was unknown. We have to be afraid of new diseases. 
Yeah, this is Ezekiel 5 and 17. So I will send upon you famine and evil beasts, and they shall bereave thee, and pestilence and blood shall pass through thee. And I will bring the sword upon thee. I, the Lord, have spoken it. Yeah, because now they're saying that this new COVID is, um, you know, it's going after the children more easily. And, you know, Ebola and these different strains. Like, like they said, the lady was in there with her two children. You know? So, hey. You know, the the most high might bereave her, you know. Who knows? You know. I'm not sure I'm not wishing that on her, but hey, there's a lot of stuff coming up and, and, and happening real fast, you know. Alright. Threats to humanity. Hum humanity faces an unknown number of new and potentially fatal viruses emerging from Africa's tropical rainforest, according to Possession John Jacobs Mayembe. Tamfu, who helped discover the Ebola virus in 1976 and has been on the front line of the hunt for new pathogens ever since. We are now in a world where new pathogens will come out, he told CNN, and that's what constitutes a threat for humanity. As a young researcher, Mugambi took the first blood samples from the victims of a mysterious disease that caused hemorrhages and killed about 88% of patients and 80% of the staff who were working at the Yambuka Mission Hospital where the disease was first discovered. The vials of blood were sent to Belgium and the U.S. where scientists found a worm-shaped virus they called it Ebola. After the river closed to the outbreak in a country that was then known as Zaire, the identification of Ebola relied on a chain that connected the most remote parts of Africa's rainforest to high-tech laboratories in the West. And yeah, in China over there cutting a lot of stuff down you know, rearranging stuff. So, yeah, a lot of different stuff going to start jumping out of these rainforests, you know. Most high willing. Now, the West must rely on African scientists in the Congo and elsewhere to act as the sentinels to warn against future diseases. Now, like I said, I did a report on this before, but this is not the part I want y'all to hear. I want y'all to hear what they say in, in this part. Yeah. All right. Here you go. Yellow fever, various forms of influenza, rabies, brucellas, and Lyme disease are among those that pass from animals to humans, often via a vector such as a rodent or an insect. They've caused epidemics and pandemics before. HIV emerged from a type of chimpanzee and mutated into a worldwide modern plague. SARS, MERS, and COVID-19 virus, known as SARS-CoV-2, are all coronaviruses that jump to humans from unknown reservoirs. All right. The term virologist uses used for virus, natural host, and the animal kingdom. COVID-19 is thought to have originated in China, possibly in bats. Does Mayembe think future pandemics could be worse than COVID-19? More apocalyptic? Yes, yes, I think so, he said. New viruses are on the rise. Now listen to this. Get a scripture before I break this down. This is Jeremiah 29 and 17. Thus says the Lord of hosts, Behold, I will send upon them the sword, the famine, and the pestilence, and I will make them like vile figs that cannot be eaten. They are so evil. Yeah, because look at all the madness going on over there. You got all this stuff going on. I did um, a report on some scoffers from over in Africa. And here it is. You got famine going on over there. You got fighting breaking out. You got the Chinese over there. You got locusts over there. You got the pestilence over there. And that is spreading worldwide. And people out here still scoffing. So expect things to keep amping up. You know, and look at what he said to Bob. They're so evil. You know, now that's not all, that's not all of them. You know, you but you know, like he said, two thirds got to be cut off. You know, only one one third, and the one hundred forty four thousand gonna make it. You know, all right. So let let's keep going. Oh, and by the way, like I said before, all skin folk ain't kin folk. You know, you had you had Shem and Ham. You know, they they look the same because they was brothers. You know, I mean, you had Japheth in there too, but you know. For the most part, it's hard to tell the difference between, you know, hermetic people and shemetic people because they look very similar. You know, that's why I say we call it by the spirit. All right. All right, this is what he's saying. New viruses on the rise. Since the first animal to human infection, yellow fever was identified. In 1901, scientists have found at least another 200 
virus is known to cause disease in humans. According to research by Mark Warhouse, professor of infectious disease and ep epidemiology at the University of Edinburgh, new species of viruses are being discovered at a rate of three. This department wants you to hear three to four a year. The majority of them originate from animals. That's why we be telling y'all, watch what you eating. Stop eating all these uh, abominable foods. Experts say the rising number of emerging viruses is largely the result of ecological destruction, tearing down a force, and living where you don't need to be living at. And wildlife trade, eating lion paw, and, 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 um, what's them shelled animals that, um, the Chinese be eating and look like potato bugs? I, I don't know. You, you, you guys, uh, um, put it up there. Eating alligators. Hogs, just wild, nasty stuff. Squid, um, bush meat, which is different monkeys. You know, and the scriptures tell you you're not supposed to eat nothing with hands or feet. All right? As their natural habitats disappear, animals like rats, bats, and insects survive where larger animals get wiped out. They're able to live alongside human beings and are frequently suspected of being a vector that can carry new diseases to humans. Scientists have linked past Ebola outbreaks to heavy human incursion in a rainforest. In one 2017 study, researchers used satellite data to determine 25 to 27 Ebola outbreaks located along the limits of the rainforest biome in Central and West Africa between 2001 and 2014. Alright. So, so, yeah. Yeah, I scrolled through it, but there's certain parts I want you to hear. All right, this is um, down in Africa. Traders offer birds of giant land snails, tortoises, and freshwater turtles, all abominable foods. There, elsewhere, there are black markets from live chimpanzees and more exotic animals, some traded in private collections, others heading for the pot. Disease X may be ticking away inside one of these animals brought to the metropolis by poor people serving the taste of the rich from exotic meats and pets. Okay, this is Leviticus 11 and 42. Whosoever go upon the belly and who, whoever go up upon all four or whatever have more f feet among all creeping things that creep upon the earth, them ye shall not eat, for they are an abomination. Yeah. And, and primates have feet and hands, majority of them. They're not for your consumption. So you people hard-headed, that's why the Most High, he, he, he going to increase his judgment. And the article is fairly lengthy, so if you guys in your leisurely, other people can do a report on it. All right, and this is another part of it. Back in the Gende Hospital, the doctors are wearing as much protective gear as can be found. Goggles, yellow biohazard overalls, double gloves taped shut, hoods over their heads and shoulders, galoshes over their shoes, and complex face masks. They are still worried that the female patient may be showing symptoms of an Ebola-like illness that is not, in fact, Ebola. It may be a new virus. It may also be one of... The many diseases that afflict people here that are already known to science, but none of the tests done here have explained her high fever and diarrhea. The solution is clear, protect the forest to protect humanity, because Mother Nature has deadly weapons in her armory. Yeah, all praise to the Most High. Alright, I'm going to get one more scripture and close out. Alright, this is Psalms 91. Verse 10 and 11. Alright, that shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear up thee up in thy hands, lest thy dash thy foot against a stone. Yeah, see, nothing's going to befall you, nothing's going to happen to you, you're going to be good, you're not going to have no wild accidents. You know, you're not going to injure yourself. The Most High is going to protect you in all your ways so long you're following His law, statutes, and commandments. So, yeah, hopefully you was edified as I was. And on to the next one. Shalom.